Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. Stick ready. Playing Madden 20 to 49 Oh my god, it's so 9 and 8 ish. 9 and 9 and 9. Ow. 9 and 9 and 9. TNT Dynamite. Nobody uses Nas anymore. What? No, Nas? Like what? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Oh, oh, na 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 na! I told you that No Limit was too and Austin. Right? And I told you I'm not going to go see No Yo, Limit, dude. You know you want to go see Mystical. <laughs> he's not even there. He's he in is, jail. He's not in jail. He's there. He dude. was not. You read it on the list that he wasn't there because it had his picture, dude. It was, yeah, it was next. Yeah, to I put a P. <laughs> And you told me it was Masterpiece, Silk the Shocker, Mia X. And it is Mystical. He's on the bill, dude. <laughs> mystical is not going to be Look there. it up. I refuse. Look it up. I refuse. Dude, did you not to only me? do I not care about <laughs> Mystical, I told you that I will not support him because he is a, a rapist. <clears throat> Yeah, what's the Not term? Even. What's the term they use for that nowadays? Rapist. No, Jesus Christ, Jim. No, the real term, like the term they use when they're like taking sex offender. Yes, he's a sex offender, Harvey Weinstein. Ah, uh, dude, you know it's uh it's interesting what's when that? they show pictures of Weinstein now, like coming out of court with the walker. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's, it's like he's trying to buy like sympathy for like he's like this feeble old man who like can't like do anything. I mean, yo, if it's between me going to jail and me not going to jail, you better hand me the walker and the cane and the neck brace and <laughs> patch. all of that. Patch. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to... And on Reddit, I actually saw, like, pictures of him, like, with the walker, and then I saw a picture of him, like, shopping at a grocery store. No walker. Yeah, dude, and he, like, he has all the makeup off, so he has, like, right, his color's all good. <laughs> like, it looks like he is dead. When he's wa he's like his color he's all white like like not even like he's a white male yes but his skin is white in color not peach yeah I mean and like he's using a walker he looks like it's like they make up up him up to make yeah. him look worse and funny enough he works in movies so you know you can just go right on set and pick some of that stuff up yeah he knows the tricks of the trade I'm sorry for all the Harvey Weinstein enthusiasts in in the, in the crowd there's none you, there might be he used to make good movies I don't know. He used to make good movies. Or, I mean, he, he produced some of like Tarantino's movies and stuff. Did he? I did not know. They that. did a ton. They've been doing. Dude, I haven't looked up a list, but the Weinstein brothers did a ton of movies back in the yeah. day, in the nineties. I wonder about Tarantino. Hmm. He definitely seems like he's not a normal guy. Yeah, yeah. Like, but is he normal? Like, he's just a little weird, or is he normal? Like, he's a little weird. Yeah. You know what like, I mean? Yeah. Like, okay. All right. As long as you see it too. Oh no! Absolutely. As long as you see he it seems too. like he's a strange bird, but he just could be like a guy who's just a little awkward and different. Mm, or he, or could, he be, could be. <laughs> or he could be like a guy yeah. who's a little awkward and different. I'm not gonna say I'm leaning to one or the other, but I definitely see a little a glimpse of something there. Well, with all the stuff that came out in Hollywood over that over that time, I think if he was a creep, that would have came out as well. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. They also, I saw a thing online the other day. It was like four pictures of Keanu Reeves with like random like hot girls mm -hmm. that like went backstage or those like fans. I think they were. Yeah. Every single picture, he he had his arm around them, but yeah. then he had he made it so you could see his hand was sticking out. Like oh, he so he'd have his arm around them, but not touching them. But he would be instead of, like 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 literally out. Like he was like wait. <laughs> And there was like Keanu Reeves knows how to not get caught or something. Yeah, you know, or not that. facts. Like, and he's like, he, he's like, yeah, I'll wrap my arm around you, but my hand is out. Facts. Like, you, so you, you can't say I groped you. You yep. can't say, yeah. This this will not be admissible in court. Right. Yeah, and it was fun. I didn't even notice it in the pictures until like I was reading through the comments, and somebody was like, Keanu knows not how. To See, John, that's that's some of the stuff that we got to remember when we become famous. Yep. I, I honestly, Jonas, I feel like the episode that we did two days ago, that video is going to be the one to kickstart our career. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to be comedians? Because that's funny. I couldn't even say it with a straight face, dude. <laughs> dude, no video is going to kickstart our career. <laughs> no, dude, it takes for people to like share the video. You got to tell your friends and stuff about it. Does that work? I don't think that I think works. word of mouth is the best promotion there is. But. 
All right, here's the thing. I've never watched a YouTube video because somebody asked me to watch it and then You're continue to. You're actually less likely to watch it. <laughs> so and we then, talked about this on and a podcast. Then, yeah, and then continue to watch like that channel. I've never done it. I always find it myself. But, I mean, I'm my own person as well. Yeah, no, I agree. If I get a YouTube link, nine times out of ten, I don't watch them. I mean, if you send me something, a lot of times I do because I, I, like, I know you won't send me garbage. Um, and it's usually relevant to something we've talked about or something like that. It's but usually, how do you organically stumble on? Do you do you even watch anything on YouTube uh, regularly? I mean, the only time I really usually go to YouTube is if I'm looking up something specific. Like, hey, how do I do this? And I'll look up a so video. you don't watch any regular schedule programming? No, on I, I don't really watch. Like, I don't have like, oh, I got to watch this channel stuff this week. All right. No. All right. So it's always just like something comes up. Hey, I'll look that up. Right. All right. Fair enough. And then maybe sometimes I get on the rabbit hole. And I'll be like, "Oh, what's this suggested video?" And then I'll like, kind of rabbit hole through. But like, that's mm -hmm. I don't I don't watch a ton of YouTube. I don't watch a ton of anything, to be honest. Like mm -hmm. shows. I watch The Office on Netflix while I'm doing other things. Ooh, but I'm not not, even not for things. long. You won't be. I know, dude. At the end of this year, I'm gonna go buy the box set of the whole season. Just keep the DVD in the DVD <laughs> in the go. Xbox. There you go. That's what I'll do. The whole, the whole series of nine seasons is like twenty dollars. Like. Maybe is 50 it? bucks. Is it that cheap? It, I don't remember. I looked it up and remember being like, oh, wow, that's way cheap. Well, who buys DVDs anymore, dude? That's a good point. Yeah. That's like, a good point. If you're point. willing to buy one of those things they made back in 2009 when the show ended or whatever, Ugh. they'll be like, yeah, cool. Just the it. fact that you said it was on DVD made me already not want to like, yeah, I'm like, ew. I will be way less Ugh. likely to watch it when I have to put a DVD in the DVD player. Could you imagine having to get up and put a disc into the... <laughs> ew, what are you doing? Broke? What is this, 1997? You peasant. What I'm are you doing? You broke. <laughs> I'm sorry. You, you good? Are you hungry? Can <laughs> <laughs> you buy you some groceries, bud? <laughs> like, what are you doing? Putting discs in a player? You oh, you have a DVD player? Oh, I threw up. I'm sorry, Jonas. I threw up in Dude, my own mouth. I can't tell you the last time I had a DVD player. Oh, my God. Like, I use my Xbox. Like, I even in my room have a PS3 that just sits there that I can watch movies on if I ever want to watch a movie in my room. But I never watch TV in there no. ever. No. I could get rid of that TV. I haven't turned that thing on, and I can't remember the last time I turned it on. I don't, like, and I don't understand what you do all day. I mean, I know you work, obviously. Yeah, I work from home. I'm, I'm aware that you work, but, like, what do you do in the time period where, like, that isn't happening? I mean, I'm working all day. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> no, dude, I've been, like, really busy. Lately. I mean, but you have slower days, and not every day is equal. So uh, if a day happens where things are not as exciting or uh, demanding. Usually, usually I'm just, like, doing stuff. I'm, like, I'm a lot. I listen to music a lot. Yeah. Um, just, just that's so I have noise or whatever. Um, otherwise, you know, I'll be, I'll be on my phone screen. I don't have enough time to sit there for like that much time to watch. See, a but show. when a person says I'll be on my phone screwing around, that's extremely vague. Well, yeah, that is well, it could be, a, it's it's could be a bunch of other stuff, dude. I could be like on Instagram doing stuff. I could be like on Reddit. I could be reading something. I could be watching a video. I could be. It could be a vast variety of things. A lot of times I'm reading news or like. Yeah, but like, okay. Uh, I mean, I I guess, but like these, these are they're very they're very vague, they're very diverse, and none of them are very time consuming. What I do when I'm at work and I have downtime is I watch YouTube videos. I can tell you what channels I watch. I can you know, and that's like yeah, I could see a person spending three hours an hour of downtime doing that. I don't know yeah, about but, you. But yeah, but I don't have three hours of downtime. Like, I don't have three hours where I sit and do nothing. Okay. Fair like, enough. I mean, I have maybe, like, I have in between, like, people reaching out to me. It could be a few minutes, it, but it's never, like, I never sit there for, like, an hour and nothing happens. All right. So I don't have enough time. To, so, like, yeah, I'll, like, scroll through Reddit, and then, like, I'll find, like, a story. So then I'll read that story, and maybe that's all I'll get done before I got to do something else. Oh, or, like, okay. All well, right, all right, all right. You know, like, I'm it's... Not, I'm not going to lie, man. I, I, I thought that you might have, like, a crippling porn addiction. Uh, no. No. <laughs> no dude, I mean, I can do that anytime I want. <laughs> I, I, I mean, you can. I can, I can watch adult movies anytime yeah, I feel. You absolutely can. This is your home too, no, fam. Dude, I, I you can do whatever you want. On, uh, like, uh, probably like on Reddit a lot because there's such a vast variety of things to yeah. look at. You know, it's like right. whether I want to like read or what, whatever. I, I could see that. 
Yep. And I can get lost in comments forever, dude. Uh, yeah, I and can see that. And some days I'll sit there and be like, today's an Ask Reddit day. And I'll just look at Ask Reddit every time and like just laugh because it's so funny. Oh, all right. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. There are definitely some rabbit holes you can go down through on Reddit. Oh, man. my God. It, without even trying. Yeah. I like, I don't really like watching stuff. I don't like, yeah, dude, I don't, I don't watch a lot of things anymore. I don't really watch much either. I listen to a lot of YouTube and then I don't even really listen to it. It's just background noise. Right, right. It's like in your ear and a headphone or whatever. Yeah. It's ancillary to whatever I'm doing. That's yeah, I don't know. I did watch the entire Mandalorian. Hey, you told like, me you I, I paid, I don't <laughs> <laughs> but they did have Disney Plus where I was at, and the guy was like, "Hey, you ever seen The Mandalorian?" I was like, "No, I'm gonna be here for a little while, so sure, I'll watch it." Ended up watching it; it was pretty good. Um, can't complain. It had a very distinct, like, uh, Star Wars feel. No, <laughs> it had a very Xena Warrior Princess Hercules kind of feel oh to it. Oh my god, like Kevin Sorbo yeah, Hercules. But it was like it was like better than that. I though. have not. Thought of that in so long. <laughs> Disappointed. It, I don't remember that. No, My mom's ex-boyfriend used to watch Xena and Kevin Sorbo. I Hercules. used to watch both of those too, motherfucker. You didn't watch those? I watched them because I had no choice. I was oh. forced. Come on! Or I go sat in my room. They were the dumbest shows ever, dude. It was good. It was not what Kevin Sorbo, mean? bro. <laughs> Kevin Sorbo, bro. Yeah, dude. Lucy Lawless. Yeah, dude. She Yo, was, I used to have a. Hot, I used to have a. No, not for Lucy Lawless. She was not hot. I used to have a thing for her little friend, though. I like. I swore they were lesbians, but they weren't. And I was like, hmm, I don't know. I even had Jonas. You're gonna hate this. I even had a Xena action figure. That's cool. That might be telling my age a little too much, You're but cool, whatever. I had a Xena action figure, and it was very, very strange because the Xena action figure only could do like two things: it could hold a sword, it could hold a sword, and you could remove her her Xena warrior outfit robe. Whoa! And underneath, she had on like a Xena bra and just like Xena panties. Okay, so I'm I'm a young kid at this point in time. So you just took off all the stuff. So I would just do that. And then I remember telling one of my friends about it, and he was like, really? And I was like, yeah, fam. Got to go get you one of these Xenas. <laughs> <laughs> Got to go get you one of these. Got to go get you one of these Xenas. He goes and goes to get a Xena action figure zone. Jonas, they had edited them to the point where they had painted the bra was way bigger. And the panties were like more like booty shorts. Yeah, they're more like granny panties now. Oh, but you had like the thong edition. I do. I have the thong edition. The Xena thong edition, because all the boys were like, "Yes." Hey so they edited it and they put her, and then like the one that he ended up getting, they even edited it even further. She had like a leotard on. I was like, "Oh, dog!" That was like you, a Xena bodysuit. That was like you missed out. You missed out on all these action figure cheeks, man. Yeah, dude. <laughs> How many chicks that actually figure get you? Jonas, I, it was before my maturation, all right, okay. sir? I, before, I wasn't before, interested in that. Before, you were like, I don't care how many chicks it gives me because I, was, I got Xena. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this didn't happen yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel you. I got the action figures at freaking Hills. Oh, Does that tell you? Hills. They're where the toys no, are. No, right? they don't longer exist is what they are. I'm just saying. It's oh, like, I wonder what happened to his. You one had. One of those like a coke bender. <laughs> or just like mismanagement. Like mismanagement, what? most definitely. Uh, that's probably true. Anyways. You definitely had like some weird like kid stuff when you were just discovering the female form and what it meant to you. We all been there. Um, I have any. I come on this show every day, Jonas, and I give a piece of my heart. I Tell give the true, don't. some true dynamite lore. What did I, uh, what did, see, what did I have? Every day. I had a She-Ra action figure. Did you jack off to it? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. I'm just asking. Nope, not. <laughs> well, there goes that. What? Goes <laughs> what? <laughs> At no point in time did on that video that we watched and say I couldn't say that. Right. All right. So good. So no, you I didn't. Did not. <laughs> you didn't. You sure? I was. I didn't. Hadn't come into my maturation. <laughs> yeah. Maturation. 
How old were you when you started slinging ropes, Jonas? <laughs> when you started lassoing. <laughs> I became a Wild West. <laughs> oh, oh, God, dude. What was your favorite birthday party you had <laughs> as a kid? I remember getting the DQ ice cream cake, Jonas. Dude, my mom used to get me one of those all the time. That was my jam. I right. still prefer that kind of cake over anything. Over regular cake, yeah. I agree with the caramel crunch. Dude, it's so good. Oh, my God. I'll just... never forget, like, honestly, best birthday week, I guess. Yeah. I was sick. I got to stay home from school for, like, three or four days. And it was like two, it was like the week of my birthday. So I had the ice cream cake. And I remember my mom would bring me up a piece of ice cream cake and I could eat that ish in bed. Oh my God, dude. It's like heaven. <laughs> it was. It was like heaven on earth, man. Yeah, dude. I, uh, my mom used to always get me an ice cream cake because that was always my favorite. The one year she had, uh, the, the, uh, Dairy Queen put Beavis on it. <laughs> From the show, Beavis and Butthead? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they drew Beavis on it. Like, All right. There's a picture somewhere she has it. I ain't mad at that. Mine was Ninja Turtles because I love the turtles. That was like just one year. Yeah, she always like, she, she, I mean, she got Dairy Cream ice cream cakes for my birthday many, many years because that's what I always wanted. Um, now those things are so expensive, dude. They Even are. like the cheap log cake they sell, it's like the, the, the generic version basically that ish is like over twenty dollars now definitely dude it used to be like 20 bucks for the big boy big boy <laughs> uh i believe they call that inflation jonas i'll show you something that inflates it's not, it's not that dq had uh, rose rose their prices to try to get the customer it's that uh ted ice cream's expensive america <laughs> Yes. That minimum wage hasn't gone up, hasn't hasn't gone up, but you know, it has not gone up anywhere near the amount of. Yeah, uh, but the price of everything has. Yeah, exactly. So, but no, it's that's your economics lesson today, folks. But that is all the time we have for today's episode. It's the millennials' fault, not the boomers. You right. Know? Uh, please make sure to like and subscribe. If you want to watch more, check out our playlist page. We have many things for you to enjoy. Hit the like button. Hit the like button for once. Yeah. Aw, for Jonas. <laughs> T -T Catch you on the next one. We are out.